Welcome to this month's Nature's Calling. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. It's been 85 years since the department was formed. Today we're going to take a quick look back on how it all began and some of the milestones during the early years. In the 1920s and early 30s, Missouri's forest and wildlife populations were in bad shape. Uncontrolled hunting and fishing led to low numbers. Only 400 deer were left in the state and turkey numbers were as low as 2,500 birds. A huge number of trees were cut and people set large fires to clear land and kill bugs. The landscape was also suffering from one of the worst droughts in history. Missouri already had a state game and fish department, but the political nature of the 25-year-old agency was not effective. In 1935, a group of Missouri sportsmen wanted to create a different system, one that would take politics out of wildlife management. And in 1937, the new Conservation Commission went to work. One of its first jobs was to fight wildfires so trees could regrow. Foresters built lookout towers so they could spot blazes and rush to put them out. They also got the word out to the public about wildfire prevention. Their efforts paid off. Today, forest covers more than a third of Missouri. In 1938, the newly formed Conservation Commission closed deer season for several years. With proper management and agents enforcing wildlife laws, the deer population rebounded. Today, there are around 1.5 million deer in the state. Similar restoration efforts with turkeys were also successful. Today, there are an estimated 375,000 birds. Change was coming to Missouri waters as well. Fish hatcheries were using new techniques that allowed stocking in large numbers. A program to create private farm ponds was very successful, and new fishing regulations enforced by conservation agents helped grow fish populations in the state's waterways. Today, fishing in Missouri is considered some of the best in the country. That's a dandy smallmouth. Another milestone came in 1976 when voters approved a conservation sales tax. It helps fund conservation efforts of non-game wildlife, such as bats and songbirds. Land was acquired and provided people more places to watch birds, hike, camp, hunt, and fish. Nature centers were built and conservation education programs were expanded. All Missourians benefit from and have a stake in conservation in this state. Not only does conservation have a significant positive impact on the state's economy, but it also has an impact on every Missourian's quality of life. When conservation is done correctly, it's a true partnership because it takes all of us. There have been many challenges since the department was formed 85 years ago, and many more challenges lie ahead. Managing and protecting Missouri's fish, forests, and wildlife is an ongoing process, one that never stops. Conservation is a big word for a simple idea. It means leaving nature better off than when you found it. The Department of Conservation's mission keeps that idea moving forward. Thanks for watching and remember, nature's calling. Get out and enjoy Missouri's outdoors.